Hi guys, it's Simon from Tech My Life Video, and I'm back with another video. I've got, you can probably see this sitting here, but I've got, I've got like so many bits of packaging sitting in front of me. Because um, I wanted to talk about packaging. Um, there was a there was a, a thing a while back, and I don't, I'm not actually sure whether they've kind of followed through with it or whether the process is still happening. Basically, what it was was Apple wanted people to redesign their packaging if they wanted to put their products in in an Apple store, um, because obviously Apple have a very kind of um, I guess a slick look to their stores and they wanted to kind of streamline things even further. Um, and when you look at the packaging, I mean, I can understand why Apple wanted to do it, but I mean, I'm interested to also know whether they're going to, kind of, whether it's it's not just the outside presentation, whether it's, you know, the whole philosophy behind the packaging. Because, you know, Apple get it right so much. I mean, um, I've got a few boxes here, so, you know, I've got like iPhone, I've got iPhone boxes, I've got iPad boxes, um, you know, little headphone, little headphone package, which which is how they come if you buy them in an iPhone or separately. Um, the Apple Watch, um, the box, um, which is quite a, um, it's quite a substantial box actually, to be honest, um, uh, for a watch. Um, so inside that we have. Um, this kind of uh, case that the watch comes in um, and obviously we've got spaces down there I mean obviously we need to have a bit of depth because um, you know, we've got a charging a charger um, and it's just like you know um, this is a, you know, a pretty fancy kind of um, kind of kind of box um, quite quite substantial uh, in a sense and these ones are, are, are covers um, for an iPad and an iPhone um, they they get it right a lot of the time I think I mean um, obviously with the watch uh, the the more expensive watches come in a kind of a square box because the strap is is uh, curved around whereas the sports one comes in a flat box because they're stretched out um, but generally you've got um, a lot of cardboard um, and they try to make things as small as they possibly can I mean the iPhone that's the four S and that's a 5S, um, and the volume of the box was uh, decreased considerably. Um, but if we look at other packaging, I mean, some of this packaging I've got here, I've got a whole bunch of different packaging. That little bit at the front, that little tiny little square at the front, that's a USB uh, hub. Uh, look, at, it's massive. The, the hub is this big, and the box is like that. It's like, it's just ridiculous. I mean, uh, three little cables. Three little cables that were, were literally that big and that's how big the box is. I mean these other companies just in my opinion get it wrong. This is one of my favorite uh, cases for my iPhone when I'm doing fitness events low on battery. Um, again the, the case that this packaging is massive compared to the case. It's enormous. Um, it's a slide out thing. It's got a flip thing. It's like you know you don't need all this. Um, you know again um, two cap oh, actually one Two cables, sorry, two cables in that one. Massive, enormous, plastic, gross. You're killing the planet. You know, um, all sorts of things. Headphones, I mean, look at the boxes for headphones. You know, they're gigantic. You know, the headphones aren't that big. These headphones, these headphones here, they actually fold up. Um, I'll actually, oh, hang on, I'm gonna do something really quick. I'm gonna jump out of shot and actually grab these headphones. <laughs> Yeah, these headphones are this big, and that's how big the box is. They're that big. That's all it is. It was. All, that's all it was, and that's how big the box is. It's just not required, <laughs> you know. I mean, these other companies just get it wrong so much, you know. I mean, Kensington uh, uh, phone um, holder, massive square box for a tiny little thing. Um, this dock here, it would fit inside this blue thing at the bottom, easily, easily. The whole thing that came in that packaging, but all that plastic, all that rubbish. So anybody who criticizes Apple for wanting to get these other companies to conform to their packaging standards is an idiot. <laughs> I mean, really, I mean, it's, I don't, I don't necessarily, uh, if, I, I hope, I hope they're doing it um, to, um, not just 
conform to a visual thing, but also, as I said, that internal uh, packaging uh, being cardboard predominantly, um, and just reducing everything down, reducing the size of things. You know, things don't need to be massive to catch your attention. Um, it's it's one of those things with the with these boxes. It's so simple, you know. It's so basic and simple. Um, and we have all these packages like this, where it's got five different images on the pack. It doesn't need to be like that. It can be so simple to catch your attention. So this is just all rubbish packaging. I've had this box in here actually for ages to do this video. All this packaging, it's just um, polluting our planet um, and it's another reason why when you're buying technology, um, and this is um, all stuff that I've bought or actually a couple of th a few of the stuff, a few of these gift Griffin things I went in the giveaway. Um, you know, uh, you gotta be careful when you buy technology because you end up replacing it and just creating more and more landfill rubbish. So, you know, it's important to be clever in terms of like what you buy and when you buy and how quickly you recycle things. But my opinion is don't hastily go out and buy the first thing that appeals to you. Actually do some research, look into it a little bit, make sure it really suits your needs. Do you actually need it? Technology is good, but you don't have to have the latest thing. Believe me, you will not be ultimately fulfilled in your life by just having the latest gadget uh, before the next person. It's a, you know, it's about, you know, um, bigger things than that. So think about your purchases. Um, I don't get the latest iPad. I've got the iPad uh, 3, I think it is. Um, I had the original iPad. Uh, it got stolen. Um, I had to get a replacement on a short notice because I used to use it for my gig. I, I use it, sorry, I use it for my gigs. Um, I used to use the old one, I use the new one now. Um, so then I replaced it. Now I'm, I think it's an iPad 3, it's a retina display, I can never remember which number it is. Um, but basically, you know, I don't really need to upgrade. It would be nice to have the new technology, sure, but I don't need it. I upgrade my phone on a two yearly cycle, but that's because it's with a phone contract. Um, as I said, I won't be updating the watch all that much. I run a 2008 Mac Pro, um, so it's still a reasonably fast machine. Um, it performs reasonably well. I've got a cinema display which is slightly newer than that, but it's not the latest technology. And even if I had all the money in the world, I wouldn't be racing out to just upgrade every year. It's not about the money. It's just about the fact that it's not required. So when you see all this packaging and this stuff that goes along with this, if everybody's just upgrading and chucking stuff out, we have this endless endless supply of, of junk to put in a in a you know, in a dump somewhere. Um, so think about your purchases, think about the packaging, um, you know, and, you know, maybe look to avoid companies that, that do things like that when they're packaging three leads, you know. See if you can find a company that just sells the lead without without all the packaging, um, that potentially just sells it, you know, in a coil with, with some sort of tag around it. And there's my watch telling me, beeping away, I don't know if you heard that, beeping away and telling me something. Um, but yeah, that's my little rant on packaging. Uh, what do you think about product packaging? I mean, um, it's something that I'm kind of a bit passionate about, I guess, in terms of the environment. Um, I love technology, but I also uh, love this planet that we live on, and, and hopefully we can keep it in reasonable order, even with all these advances. Um, so yeah, please comment below. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, I don't just rant about the environment and packaging. <laughs> um, more videos coming soon on the new iPhone. Um, and uh, I'm sure other things. Um, I'm Simon from Tech My Life Video. Check us out on Facebook as well, Tech My Life Video. Like the video, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye.